right now we just got a little bit of a crisis with the uh charger but glad we're live now kind of work this out see if we can get everything charged up yeah the, uh, the cigarette lighter's out and we are on it right now near chickasha it's severe has a pretty nice base and it looks like it's trying to split again it also has a wall clout too look at that lowering Look at the lowering right there, and you are in Chickasha. Look at that Chickasha. Here's Andy Coates. He's going to be a member of the live stream today. But yep, there it is. We've already got scud, a scud-shaped lowering already. So it looks to me like cloud bases might even be sufficiently low to develop tornado potential eventually. I'm going to try to hit the Blanchard. But the Apache storm looks like it's a little bit more healthy just off to our Southwest. This is the storm we're on. You're looking at the wall cloud right there too. But boy, the Apache one is just going nuts. Looks like it has clean inflow. It's already starting to spin too. So I may end up just abandoning the storm and waiting for the next one to come in. Maybe down towards cement. This is actually our May 3rd, 99 fire. We saw our first tornado down near Surreal. There's the wall cloud. You're looking at it right now. Thanks everybody for joining us. I'm also going to be deploying the subsonic sensor and we've got a GPS fix already. Already got the green light today. So we've definitely got a GPS fix. I'm going to be trying to deploy this also. Make sure I got to do it right side up. Yes. Illuminator Observatory. This thing's already producing gorilla hail off to our east. Look at that. But Andy and I are probably going to wait for this surreal storm. Seems to be a little bit more rooted. Yeah, that's the one. Just to kind of sign into one? Well, we're streaming now. Uh, all right, but you could, yeah, to, to get it up fast. Yeah. We just started the. I know, you're good. Thing. It's going. I can head down to Chickasha. Let me get a little closer to Chickasha. What do we do if it's the actual signal? Uh, it, I've already confirmed that it is. <laughs> so there's not, I don't know what we do now. We're just in trouble. Is there a cigarette lighter in there? No, I was wondering if the fuse is. Yeah, the fuse yeah, power situation is iffy. We've only got one working USB now, but that's okay. We might have to go old school eventually. Thanks everybody for joining us. Here's Andy Copes, the hero of AccuWeather who is here. And he is just dominating today, as usual, like he does all day, every day. Yeah, in the winter week. Right. Big storm off to our west too. That probably is going to be the one we're going to be on. You can see the rain shaft down there. Is that going up faster? To get a little closer to Chicken Bay. in about 20 minutes. Another mesoscale discussion in Wichita. Looks like you got a big storm there. It's the sort of Wichita that filed and fired on the triple point. Severe storms going up in eastern Nebraska. We've got the Ridge Riders with us today. You should see their stream occasionally as well. So thank you everybody for joining us. Woo! Here. I keep forgetting to look that way because that one's so pretty That's going on faster as we get closer to town. But yeah, that, that's the departing storm, which might be getting a little bit elevated. And then this one, I think, is just going to dominate. Not this storm charging, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, that's not, not working. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to the uh, stream. Uh, as you heard Reed say, and you could see right there, it uh, things are already underway. Things are a little going to be a little bit crazy today. It's going to be kind of a crazy stream. Storms are firing in two places. Hold on, Reed's talking. I'll go back to him. That's our other storm that's coming in from the southwest, an inflow band. That's Andy Coates from AccuWeather right there. Oh, we got another tower due west of us, closer to the dry line. Look at that. What do you think? Well, this is where we're looking. This is the updraft base. It's relatively smooth. It's rotating. It's got a very crisp top to it, too. That's a sign that the updraft. Already Uh, 
Um, so as I was saying here, it's going to be a little bit of a crazy day because there are storms in two places and we also have two teams. So we're, we're, we have the Ridge Riders on. We'll see them in a second here. Uh, but this is a big, beautiful supercell that we're looking at here. And if that is able to merge with the base, we're going to have wall cloud action. And one more time, while they're figuring out a uh, sort of power situation, it sounds like we have some power situations going on. Um, I'll give you the layout of the day. So this is, if we zoom out here. This is the uh, SBC warnings of the day. So there you can see there's this area here and there's this area down here. And this is, uh, this is known as kind of the triple point play. And this is down here is the dry line, what Reed and Andy are on. Um, and so it, this was the choice. It's do you go high or low? Um, and there's potential for tornadoes in both places. Um, going to see what Reed is saying here. It's coming to our southwest. Um, and I will jump in, uh, show you guys in a moment, a little bit of a dual view with the, uh, Ridge Riders too. And we're not fully set up to handle the, the, the Ridge Riders just yet, but they're a talented young team. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're, they're, they're nice enough to share their chase with us today. So I'll show you that in a second. Still got to figure out some audio things here, guys, but bear with us. Stand by one second. Sneak attack. See, there's gonna there's gonna be a bit of mayhem today, but when he, when everybody sees crazy stuff, you're gonna see it. Looks like Reed is really looking at a huge supercell right now, so we're gonna go back to him. Here we go. We'll get it figured out, guys. But you can see there's a lot of action going on. Uh, there's a super. This is how you you. Um, this is how you would come into a stream with a huge supercell, just as it is right now. But we will be able to hear read in a second here. Like I said, there's a little bit of lines crossed. Let's see.
say I think. I think. I think. Working on it. We'll get it. We'll get it. You're not going to miss any, uh, any action. This is all the build up, but I'm going to put it up so you guys don't miss anything here. Um, but let me, in the meantime, while they're trying to straighten out on their end, uh, continue with explaining here. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the SPC. This is the enhanced risk. You can see the orange area here is the enhanced risk. And you can see the yellow boxes here are severe thunderstorms that are already going up. Um, you can see, let's see, can we hear them?
I guess, sorry for the technical issues. We're working through them. We will get them uh, sorted out. Um, but this is the playing field today. Again, we have uh, the Ridge Riders who were up here and Reed and Andy are down here looking at this target right here. As you can see on the bottom, the Apache Supercell, which we had a look at right before we started working on these tech issues. Uh, we do have time uh, to get them sorted before it really ramps up here. Uh, but you may see me jump out as I'm addressing some things. But um, here is, we have one, two, three, four, five. We already have seven severe thunderstorm warnings. And for those of you who are new, because we have a lot of new people in the stream, the yellow boxes that you'll see in the radar indicate severe thunderstorm warnings. And that's what happens before a tornado warning comes. Um, so I'm going to jump back to this. Stand by. Grab a snack. You won't miss the action. We will uh, We will have this sword in, in a moment.
Thank you for holding the line. Thanks for waiting. We're getting it sorted. That's the last thing we're doing because we got to chase, I think, now. Sorry, guys. We head down to Norhe. Getting ready to kick in over there. This thing's just heading right at us. What the hell is that? Big is that hail? Dog. Alright, we're working. Good job. We're looking at the storm off to the southwest. This is Andy Coates here. AccuWeather legend, an absolute legend. He's been dominating all day. He's dominating before, during, and after the chase. That's the storm that's headed off to the northeast. This is the storm that's approaching us from the southwest. We got big southeasterlies on that flag. That's what we've been talking about this whole time. We've been zooming in on that flag, the big southeasterly inflow on it. It's got big inflow bands too feeding in. A little bit of rain cool there here in Chickasha, but I think the right mover will probably slide a little south of that. But you've also got storms that are moving up toward the Oklahoma City Metro, including this one that tried to even wrap up a little hook just to the northeast of Mustang. Thankfully, that one let go. Might get interfered with by this conglomerate, which is severe, trying to turn right even. Look at that, look at that core just turn right, wow. But this one is clean. Look at how clean that storm is. So we're gonna drop down to Norgay and then back up toward Blanchard. And I know some more storms trying to form and mature back behind it, but it looks like this one should be relatively clean. It looks like it's going to turn off to the right, and we'll just be able to follow it right all the way up to Chickasha. Well, we're in Chickasha now. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. <sighs> smells good, doesn't it? I think we're back. It smells together. like a storm now. Yeah. Audio issues. Nice work, Brian. Nice. Oh, look at that. Handsome. Handsome, handsome. Here's Andy Coates, oh. AccuWeather legend. We went through Hurricane Harvey together. We went through Hurricane Irma down in Key West. Went through the mega flood after Harvey, all the tornado warnings. Shout out Mike Tice. That was Mike yeah. Tice, yeah, of course, oh, Mike Tice. But really Andy really Coates nice. went through those. Mike Tice isn't out here right now, is he? I miss him. Yeah, I do too. A long time. He had um, another child. That was good. What else did we do? Nate together? Florence together? Yeah. Nate, Florence, Nate all of them. Look at this info band. This thing's going berserk. <laughs> My buddy Chance is out in this storm oh, out near Newcastle. That's out near Newcastle out there. Beautiful shot, Chance. Oh, look at that info band. It's going to take a while, though. Going to have to get into some good air and then start dominating at like 7 p.m. <laughs> hey guys, so I just want to show you guys one thing. That's not so awesome. Oh, I... Turn them down here. Uh, so this is uh, this is where they are here, and you see this whole area right here. This is the supercells that are blowing up, and you can see that there is a couple more on the line here. So this is where reading them are, and then as we work up, we see a line of storms, and then up here is kind of where the ridge riders are. If we could get the audio figured out, we'll be seeing them a little bit. But back to read. But boy, we were all worried about initiation. That sure is not an issue. I think this storm that we're on is probably gonna slide just to the south of Blanchard and then probably eventually toward Norman. 
And then the low-level jet will probably increase into it. And it could develop tornado potential even before it hits I-35. Yeah, this one looks good. Got a nice mobile cyclone on it. It does. Don't you think? Hold it, boy. Hold it. We've got tennis balls in Newcastle now. And that was Chance that has confirmed tennis balls up here in the Newcastle area just ahead of that core. Could even get larger than that. Wouldn't be surprised if it gets up to softballs, too. But this storm looks like it has a very healthy core and it's about to split. This is going to be the left split that shoots off to the north. This is gonna be the right mover, and the right mover should turn right, but we've already had a couple of storms that have moved through this area. But also the one near Newcastle has these updrafts immediately off to its south, which will probably impede any clean inflow into that storm. That definitely is uh, producing gorilla hail. Look at that right there, that's a major hail, a slightly elevated mesocyclone, big bulk shear, and that is definitely going nuts. And we're watching this one, it is rotating a bit. Look at that, starting to pull in some inflow. Look at echo tops, go up a little bit. Oh, there's the echo tops increasing, you got a little yellow in there. And look at that flag. It's just ripping. That highest echo top is right over the gradient of the reflectivity, and that means that it's right over that right mover supercell. This is a left mover that's going to peel off to the left, north of Verdon, and we're watching this right mover down here. Might even deploy the subsonic sensor for this hail core before this moves in to Chickasha here. But man, I got you deploy the subsonic. It just sticks. Thinking about deploying the subsonic sensor, what do you think, Andy? Put it right side up. Are we got to run it out. There is that big fa facility out there. We probably don't want that. I promise to get a great shot of you running it out there. <laughs> I'm just not sure if this is a good spot. That could be a manufacturing building. Or something. It's not a very visual spot. At least go down to the southwest side of Chickasha here, a little closer to the core. tucked right up against the rain too. See that? I see it. guys we're headed to the southwest side of Chickasha right now and just to get a closer look at the storm
just going to go southwest side of Chickasha here. And eventually we're going to go right back through town. Save on some of this hail here. Huge base! Can you shoot that with us? No. That base, you gotta be kidding me. intensifying. It's got a big base on it. We're just heading to the southwest side here in Chickasha, and we'll probably end up staying up with this storm. expansion off to the right. That means that the right mover is dominating on this storm. And it does have a bit of a wall cloud already on it, but it is still a little too high base for a tornado genesis. And the wind shear needs to ramp up a little closer to 7 p.m. City, but that lead storm near Blanchard is headed toward Norman. See that big base expanding out to the south? That's amazing. Huge base on this thing. Thanks everybody for the patience. Welcome new Team Dominator members. Never stop chasing. Yep, we are getting on this thing. We're on the storm, right in the path of it. Dude, let me cook out here! Hey guys, giving you a little position check here. So Reed and Andy are about right here, just kind of on the outer edge of the supercell. You can see this is the path of it. You see this little dot here? This is the path of it. This is where it'll be in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 45 minutes. Um, and if we animate it just to get a little bit of a look at it, see what Reed is doing, you can see it goes up pretty quick. And... Let's see what it looks like from the air. There it goes.
Oh, it's got a hook on it. Oh, this one's rotating, coming into Norman. They're all rotating right now, folks. Got a big problem. This one coming into Norman is rotating big time out near Blanchard and Bridge Creek. Yep, that one is starting to rotate. So is this one. Look at the inflow start to come in. Look at that hook echo, southwest side of Newcastle. This one also has a hook echo on the back side of it. Just jumping in once again. So this is this is where we are. We're looking at this cell. And Reed's also bringing attention to this supercell that's headed into Norman. You can see right here, oops, let me start again. This little hook-like appendage it has there, that's going to start happening. It may actually have started happening right here on this supercell that we're on. We're fine. Within reason. I'm just focusing the chase right now. He just he can swear. He can swear. Totally fine. Yeah, there's more. It's we don't want to swear if we can, but sometimes they just slip out and you can't help it. That's what one gets you. Yeah. Look at that big hailstone out there. I think that's a hailstone. It is, isn't it? It's true. Yeah, I'll go grab it. We'll grab this one. Bring it oh, to you. No, that made I'll bring it to you. That one, a big hailstone right there. I'm sure Reed's gonna share that hailstone with us, but yeah, this is this is where we are. This is where we're looking at. We're gonna I'll go back to him. We can see that. Yes. Oh wow. Um, let me do one for you. Okay. Let me start tight on it. Not to you, ready? Three, two. We've already got big time hail. This one's a little bit approaching tennis ball here. We're in Chickasha. We've got a big supercell that's coming right at us. It's already got a wall cloud on its southwest side. And we're about to get pummeled by a destructive hail core here in Chickasha. You can see the little core in there, a little nucleus. What a beautiful hailstone right there. Look at that thing. That's a monster. And we're about to get impacted by this core. Look at that little star right there. Look at that thing going nuts. It's already got a lowering. There's also rotating storms that are heading into Norman right now. I just deploy here. I'm gonna deploy. Deploy it. Ready? Got time to deploy the subplanet. Let me forget that. What time is it? Can you note the time? 55. Okay. Ah, it's got six on the dot. Not exactly six. road a little bit here and I'll come back and get the subsonic a few minutes note the time 6 p.m. just giving you a little indication of what Reed just had, uh, dropped off pretty storm coming into Newcastle right now everybody starting to rotate faster and faster as is our storm back here Look at the hook echo on it now. This one might have enough space coming into Norman though. Right, so what Reed just jumped out of the car to drop off was the subsonic sensor. 
um, for detecting hail. It's developed by Mark Simpson of Dominator Labs. Um, and they recorded some amazing data just uh, last week on the stream. So it's listening for subsonic frequencies of hail to detect hail. Um, and it's recording right now. Uh, so then, you know, we'll share the data on a video with you uh, in the coming days of what it sounds like to hear a hail core at subsonic frequencies. Trying to rotate there, look at that. Up nice and tight to the rain shaft. It's trying to rotate. See that? It's rotating up there. Some differential motion on it. Look at the inflow starting to get picked up by this. It appears that the wind shear is sufficient for a tornado threat. We've got a rotating base already. Already got the rotating base here. Big hail. Look at all the hail in the grass. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Larger. Right up there, there's the hail course. Yeah. That's the storm. Mesocyclone starting to rotate, lowering differential motion. That's the hail core right there. We're already getting 10 to small size hail on this storm. See that base spin? See the differential motion in the base oh. up there? Oh, we got to put it back in. I need to plug it back in. Just keep it, keep it running. No, it's good. Damn, look at that thing. Coming into Norman is going to pose a problem. It's coming in between Norman and Moore. There it is. There's the Hook Echo, Newcastle. Halfway between Norman and Moore is where that storm is heading. And if it does produce, it'll happen near the tip of that hook. And it's starting to spin quite rapidly. Look at that. This one's starting to get its act together. It's a little too cold. So it's still large. There's the hail core. This is the rotating updraft, and it should be pulling in clean air shortly. Simply rotating right there, convergent motion. It's probably riding the outflow boundary from the Norman storm right now. Oh, yeah, it's rotating. Look at that. You seen that, Andy? Yeah, we could easily get clocked with a baseball out here. <laughs> and this is outside of the big core. <laughs> I actually threw that. I actually threw that at you, bud. <laughs> but you did almost get clocked by one over there. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the ro Look at it rotate. You can hear the hail roar.
Yeah, good differential motion on it. There's our wall cloud. Look at the lowering here. See the clouds coming in from left to right. The whole thing is spinning above us. The right mover is just dominating. Look at the rising motion right there. And there's that hail core. Wow. Boy, this is a real deal, isn't it? Wonder about that lead storm though, going between Norman and Moore. It looks like the rotation has weakened just a little bit as it's coming into Newcastle, but I wouldn't be surprised if that goes worn pretty soon. Look at that hook coming around. Newcastle, you're about to break into the clean inflow there. And this storm is heading toward North Norman, South Moore. Major hail. Oh, look at that scud. This is our storm kind of all by itself here. We're in the southwest side of Chickasha. <laughs> you hear that? They're just hitting over there. Oh, did that just fall? No. <laughs> it's smooth. Yeah, we'll have to go recover the subsonic and just keep up with this thing as it, it goes toward Blanchard. Hey, look at that differential motion, Andy. It's rapidly uh, uh, trying to spin right there. Yeah, <laughs> I just block them out, but it's not not the right thing to do. You block wipers out too. Yeah. So what do you got? There? More spin back there. Look on the backside. It's trying to tighten on the backside too. Look at that spin up there. See it? Shoot it as live quick with your phone. Okay. We gotta hurry though. Still got northerlies here. It has it tapped into the southerlies, which probably on coming out on the other side and are north of the forward flank, but this is obviously a rotating wall cloud here. Striations developing on the east side of the updraft. Okay. I'm ready. One second, thank you. Ready? One second. We are on a severe warned supercell right now with a rapidly rotating wall cloud that is coming into Chickasha. This has a severe thunderstorm warning. It already is producing very large hail. We've already seen a couple of tennis balls and we're south of the main core, which is just passing on the north side of Chickasha right now. Definitely baseball size hail up there. But I'm watching the differential motion and the rotation here in cloud base as this base continues to fall. And as that wall cloud there lowers toward the ground, that's when this is gonna develop tornado potential. And the low level wind shear that really drives these tornadoes, it's gonna increase as we get a little closer to sunset. So around seven or eight o'clock, that's when the low level jet's gonna start feeding into these storms. And that's when the tornado threat is really gonna go through the roof. But there's also a lead supercell that's approaching Norman and Moore right now in the South Oklahoma City Metro. That one's rotating rapidly as well. And that has tornado potential as it's a little bit further east. We are tracking the storm right behind that, which has a very large updraft base, a lowering, big time hail with it as well and we think that this is going to develop a tornado threat as it moves northeast of Chickasha eventually toward the Blanchard area and then passing through the South Oklahoma City Metro in a couple of hours. Nice. Nice work. All right we should probably get northeast.
keep chasing this storm off to the northeast and right around the magic hour, seven, eight o'clock is when I really expect a tornado threat to go through the roof. Just deployed, oh, is that a tornado warning? Severe thunderstorm warning. All right, jumping in here for a second while they figure out severe thunderstorm warning and anything. Um, so this is uh, this is the cell that's headed into Norman, the Newcastle cell. Um, you can see it has a, a very large, though thin hook. Um, and this is the cell that we're on here. They're both healthy storms. You can see there's a hail core on the storm that I hear it. Starting to get into the warmer air. Look at that spin, look at that close spin. See that, Eddie? Oh, wow. Damn, that looks nuts, doesn't it? You seeing that, Andy? Uh -huh. It's hypnotizing. He's right over, oh, it's right over the top of us. Right, so just jumping in here and building on what uh, Reed is saying. So we're in Chickasha. Um, this is the cell that we're on here. And this, uh, you can see all these yellow boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Okay, eight. Eight severe thunderstorm warnings uh, in this very small area here. So these storms in this area are really blowing up quickly here. Um, so, you know, help us uh, get the word out, you know, uh, like and share. I know it sounds silly to say, but it really does help us to uh, go up in the algorithm. So help us get the word out. Hit that like button. Let's get uh, to 3,000 likes if we can. Um, but I'll uh, get out of the way and um, in one second here. But, yeah, everybody in Norman, pay attention to this storm. As Reed was saying, it is rotating, as we could see on this feed. Whoop. Go back to Reed. Going to Blanchard, sir. Our storm's going nuts. Okay, a little bit ahead of it. It's gonna be big time. I might go back into the hail again here. There's the wall cloud. Rotating right above us. We get back into the baseballs. Destructive severe weather heading for the north side of Chickasha and a rotating storm is going from Newcastle to North Norman right now. Watch out for big hail, it's coming. We're gonna take 62 east. Oh yeah, did you see that? Yeah. Boop. That's what it looked like. It's really rotating on the south side too. Really spinning right there. The wall cloud right above the vehicle, rotating. We didn't stay too long back there, but we'll be fine. 1.1 miles, we're headed east on 62. We're about to head into the baseballs. You can see that milky sky right in front of you? Those are baseballs. Milky baseballs. Those are milky baseballs. <laughs> yes. That's your job, Brian. I'm gonna shoot this. Let's go, guys. Let's get to 3,000 likes. Never stop chasing. Let's do it. Big hail here, it looks like. 
We sampled that car. shredded here. That's from hell. Got a clear slot. Trying to encapsulate. We're gonna get on 62 East. Point two, right at the light. I need you to look out your window once we turn right to you know, okay, I mean, Look at all the hail on the ground here. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a wall cut right there. Yeah, there it is. Right here, right here, right, right here, northeast. It's going nuts. Here, shoot it. I'm trying to produce up there. Pretty crazy. Really? Yeah. Does it look like it's about to produce? It is trying to produce, Andy. You gotta let me know when it looks like that. Yeah, guys, just jumping in really fast here. Uh, we have a, a tornado warning on this other storm that's headed into Norman, the uh, Newcastle storm. So everybody get in your safe place. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is headed into Norman. This is in Newcastle now. 
um, the storm that we're on here, you'd see from that, that was trying to produce there. <clears throat> um, and so you could hear the guys, the guys are on it. Um, please let anybody know in the path or the path, pay attention to this storm. It, it is indeed trying to, tr to, uh, produce a tornado. Stand by one second. We're coming back here. Um, let's see what this is starting to look like and see if it's rotating. So for rotating, for those of you new to, new to the stream, we know a lot of you are, um, we go to something called reef uh, velocity. Excuse me. And it looks like this. And for velocity, red means... Uh, wind and moisture headed away from the radar and green is uh, headed towards the radar. So you can imagine there's a bunch of clouds just heading from the south to the north here. Uh, except these clouds. These clouds here are moving from the north to the south, generally. Kind of a generalization. But, but that tells you that if this is going this way and this is going this way, then... It's starting to rotate and right now you can see it's it's a large area it's not not super pinpointed so we we say it has broad rotation right now um but it can tighten up can tighten up and that's when it when it produces um let's see what's going on with reed and uh, andy here big cliffhanger right so if you're uh if anybody is in this area if you're in chickasha amber blanchard uh get ready to get in your safe place um, this thing is definitely trying to produce Let's see if i can get through to the guys another way okay We're back. Not that like some gold. <laughs> more is trying. Yeah, more is tornado warned, everybody. It's coming into more. Dangerous storm. That's gonna hit my old house again. Just reiterating what Reed is saying, more get in your safe place. This is uh, this storm definitely looks strong. It is rotating. Get in your safe place. It is tornado warned. Um, we are on this storm right here, which may go tornado warned soon. We will see. Uh, but back to the guys. Very dangerous setup here. There's also tornado warning just southeast of 
Let's take a look at it here. Yeah, okay. I'll get you talking. Okay, for a second. Cool. I'll make sure it stays in front. It's gonna produce eventually. This is definitely gonna produce. You can see it's a rapidly rotating wall cloud. Clear cloud going all the way around it. Cyclonic spin on this. We're on Highway 62 right now, just to the east of Kikache. And look at that wall cloud. A few big base out ahead of it too. So all it really needs to do is move a little bit further east into some deeper moisture and this will produce. But it looks like it's trying to consolidate to the north of 62 now, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Look at the clear slot coming around. So the clear slot's trying to reconsolidate a new circulation off to the north. Clear slot's coming around, wrapping all the way around that new circulation. Funnel back to the, funnel back behind it. Funnel cloud Andy. It just dissipated. It was there though. Yeah, it looks like Norman and Moore didn't produce, it just occluded. A new circulation is happening off to the east. Looks like it's cycling right over I-35. is jumping in uh, as they're getting a little signal here so you heard that it, they they think it's trying to uh it's cycling so uh, for those of you who are new and we have a lot of new people and welcome to the stream in storm chasing in supercells storm cycle so they'll they'll try to ramp up and put down a tornado and then maybe it doesn't happen and then it and then it kind of ramps back up again so if you're looking at this the old circulation is kind of back here and it looks like a new circulation may start to uh, form here, but definitely keep your eye on this storm. More, um, more Norman, this whole area. Um, get ready to get in your safe place. Side of the storm here. It's only a matter of time until this produces a tornado. Look at that clear slot going around it now. Large mesocyclone on this storm. It almost hit that pole, didn't it? Hey, that's it's amazing how much it's increased in the last few minutes. Yeah, it could tighten up on the back side. See that? That's where that old funnel was. Look at it. See on the back side uh -huh. over there? And Norman has occluded, I've told. New circulation is starting to intensify right over I-35 on the next cycle. It's a cyclic supercell, so this circulation died out, and this one's starting to ramp up as it's approaching I-35. Our storm is rotating hard here on the northeast side of Chickasha. That's where we're watching. That's our location, looking north at that circulation. That's gonna try to produce eventually. spin on the north side of the clear slot it gets stretched by the mesocyclone and then it'll tighten into a tornado literally coming behind you right because I saw it yeah it's sharpened up tight Easily just shoot north on one of these roads. 
Now we got West. CRMT that just got up. That's CRMT. You walk out onto the right. That's normal, totally normal. West release our rear plane contract. Uh, I see a selfie coming, please. Sorry, I get a little excited. Hey, you mind if I take a picture with you guys? No, not at all. <laughs> Actually, let's do it. Gotcha. Hold on, let me get you. Let me get you. Yeah, I'm okay. Take it with yours? Uh, sure. Gotcha. Hey, you like it? Uh, jump it out. I'll say it. Reed is the nicest guy in the world. In the middle of the chases, please don't hunt him down and um, ask for pictures. It's he's he's the kindest guy in the world, but it makes it hard for him. He's thinking about a lot of things. He's thinking about navigating. He's thinking about this, that, anything. Anyway, I'd want to meet him too, but. Man, it smells terrible here. North options up here too. There it is. Yep. Get in your same place, everybody. It's charging you. There it is. There's our occlusion. See the clear slot wrapping in. If this turns right, I think it'll have a greater tornado threat because then it can move out of the path of the other storm, but rapid base expansion off to the east. Here's Rick's shot of it. Right over I-35, this is Rick Thomas. Look at that cycle happening right over I-35. Man. That's a wall call that's rapidly starting to rotate. That is crossing I-35 right between Moore and Norman. Rick just sent me a movie on it. He's back. This is Rick Thomas, everybody. He's back. The one I chased May 3rd, 99 with. There it is. That's the wall cloud crossing I-35 near Norman and Moore right now. We got Rick Thomas on that. that back side right there. Meanwhile, ours is wrapping rain curtains around the circulation now. It's rapid rain curtains in there. This is the one northeast of Chickasha, folks. It's starting to try to produce there, Andy. Look at that. Look out to, yeah. back up to the northwest. You got lots of pull, too. Okay. Pull? Cable. Oh. Take, get in your safe place along I-35 and east I-35, North Norman, South Moore. Moore Norman. Play it safe, everybody. Get in your safe place. This thing's trying to produce, too. A little funnel cloud. See that little funnel cloud right in there? It's moving kind of fast. Ooh, rapid scud motion. Do that, rapidly rising the scud. Whoa, good lightning up ahead. And we got 
the storm to ourselves. <laughs> That's been nice. I was trying to recycle down here, maybe. See that? Big base. There's the circulation, rapidly rising scud still back there. That clear saw is going to continue to carve into the base and then a new circulation will develop a little further northeast. Looks like an outflow boundary though from the earlier storm off to the east too. Cloud over Westheimer Airport right now. And it is getting a little more diffuse, but that is a intense wall cloud right over Westheimer. Guys, while we have a quick moment, <clears throat> I just wanted to thank all the big chats and all the new members. Thanks to uh, Debbie Palms for donating uh, some memberships and congrats to those of you. That's just a lottery. When somebody gifts memberships, it, it YouTube just randomly picks people in chat to gift them to, if you guys are wondering how that works. Um, and thank you, Gina K. Very much. Gina's uh, always there for us. We very, very much appreciate it. Carol Bragg, Cassie Harton, Denise. And Cassie Horton again. I'll go back to read. Looks like that's right over the airport right now, but there's the spin. It's got a, a definite wall cloud on it. Choppers are all over that. There's our storm. Rapid spin there, southwest of Amber. And another storm right behind ours, too. Look at that with a base. But there's the spin, there's the clear slot, that's where the rotation's located, way up there. New wall cloud off to the east already though. Cloud formation behind us now, too. Everybody, look at this. Still some spin getting buried in the rain. But we do have a rapid wall cloud formation now to the west on a new storm. That's the back storm that's trying to rain into this storm and seems to be intensifying. But look at that base off to the east, might be lifting up a little bit. You're trying to get a new circulation there. But we definitely have a wall cloud back behind us now. All right, so you heard Reed there. He was saying he's got a, they have a new wall cloud behind them. They are uh, right in Chickasha. So they're looking uh, north. So they're looking at this storm right here. Uh, but then they're saying they have a new wall cloud behind them. So they, they're starting to look at this, this storm right here. Uh, but you can see this storm in Norman is still tornado warned. If we zoom all the way out, you can see... And we like to do this. We like to show how good the SPC is. This is where they warned us about today. Um, and you can see that they, they're right on the money again. We have to put some kind of safe card on that button. But we'll be, we'll be right back.
Check, check. Check, check. Hello? Uh, not sending. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're... I, uh, I'm just going to call you now when you bump it out because it, se it seems like signal's great, so... All right. Bye. And wow, there's a look at that wall cloud here. Back to read. Okay. Yeah, that thing's trying to produce up near Amber in the rain, back in the rain up there. Look at that. We might need to get up toward Amber, everybody. Thinking about it, at least. Let's head up toward Amber. See what we got. See if we can dig something out of there. shoot back into the rain everybody then we'll blast back south and get this storm as it intensifies but we might be able to get a tornado really quick with our original storm buried in the rain here and just it's right about six miles to our north that one died it looks like that circulation see it i was heading up toward amber uh -huh. So we've got a tornado warning in Norman. It's approaching the radar site. Look at that large inflow zone carved out. Watch out, south more, central more even. So that circulation is in uh, North Norman heading into more. I know it has a wall cloud on it. Keep an eye on that, Brian. This storm is trying to get better, isn't it? We just need to be on a storm that's isolated at 7 to 8 o'clock. That's simple. storm just got tornado warned everybody we're gonna barrel into the core here we think that it could be trying to produce heading up into amber i think that they were, they issued the warning on that scan that caused us to go north and then it looks like the scan has weakened a little though punching into the rain tornado warning we are on a tornado warn storm here So you heard that the storm now is tornado warned. So everybody uh, in this area, get in your safe place. That's Amber Blanchard. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, it's Amber and Blanchard um, and Newcastle. Uh, be paying attention to the storm. It now has a tornado warning and we are on it right now. That's in addition to the storm in front of it here that also has a tornado warning. That is a very strange looking supercell right now. Um, so yeah, so we have two tornado warnings down here. And as we're looking back at what the SPC looked at, we have tornado warning up here in the enhanced wrist area. Uh, back to the guys. So they'll be coming back in a second here. 
Uh, but yeah, as we look and we try to learn a bit more about this storm, we look at the velocity uh, feed again. Again, red is is thing uh, precipitation and wind moving away from the radar. Sorry, but let me show you where the, the radar is right there. It's right on top of the radar. So sometimes you got to look at different radars a little bit further out. Let's see what you could see. Let's see if this one reaches. All the guys are in a bit of a tough area right there. All right, so we're looking for another which radar set. Okay, the guys are back. Let's just go to them. Audio now. Gotta give me a little bit more time to breathe. Big hail though up here. Everything good back there?
Okay, well, I'm not muted now. Um, the guys will come back. You can see Andy. So who is Andy? Andy is, uh, is a, uh, he's a friend. He's a fellow chaser. He's a cameraman for AccuWeather. So where do we head now? South. And then we'll head back east at 5.5 miles. Maybe Blanchard. We got another storm that's developed right on the back end of this one that's raining in it. This one's getting out. Look, it's coming in on the back side, too. Rick Hale, look at him. Look at the spot. See the spot? I feel it. We might be able to get a crack. I walked out off to the right. We're going to do an up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Flip, yeah. It's getting huge, actually. Look at that walk out. Jeez. Welcome to the Bears Cage. <laughs> Also got the tornado warm storm near and more that's starting to weaken a little bit. That's crazy, isn't it? Look at the uh, triations above. I wanted to try and keep it plugged in another minute. Yeah, good idea. Until we get hey, some. Try to set me up again here. Yeah, so this is the storm that you're looking at right now. And Reed, you heard Reed say, "We're in, welcome to the bear's cage. Well, the bear's cage is basically, this is kind of a, it's nice to show examples on textbook supercells. This isn't really a textbook storm, but a hook echo goes like that usually. And this is kind of like that. Tornado usually forms about right there. 
the hail is usually about here where you could actually see some is here too. And this is the bear's cage right here. It's this clear air that once you punch through the hail core, the only thing that's left in there is basically you and the tornado. It's definitely trying to produce here. A little turbulent. like that that's this one lifted up a little bit and this one's just plowing into it amanda blanchard and cole yeah it's really hard right that's really what you need that storm motion to tornado stand trying on these bands that band can hide down there. See that? Man, that was nuts. Very quickly, we have 10,000 people watching here. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. We uh, Let's get to 5,000 likes, guys. It really helps us, and it helps us get the word out, too, to anybody in the area, too. So... Let's do a like rally and back to the guys. That's it right there. It's, it's trying. See that little column? Oh, yeah. It's trying. He's getting out of there. <laughs> Definitely trying to produce as it's headed up into southwest Oklahoma City. It's just approaching 240 east now, just west northwest of the radar site. That's the circulation. The circulation looks a little bit more broad now. Tornado warning is probably going to be allowed to expire. This one continues. Oh, look at that spin. Take this. Sure. Yeah, you can. You know best. Honestly. <laughs> So you guys might have just heard that. I just try to reiterate some important information here. So you can see these are all, um, all the yellow ones are severe thunderstorm warnings. That little green one over there is a flash flood warning. But this red box, this is the only um, tornado worn storm and we are on it right now.
Hey, there he is! Oh! Is there some there yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you? Doing good. good, how are you? Doing great. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's a team meeting. Hey, let me hey, put this up. Let me, hey, let me, let me come out and say hi. They got the A team out here today. You're about to get a blast, boy. Yeah. So that is uh, who I can see is that is Storm Chaser Mike Scantlin, the great Mike Scantlin, very funny guy. And very uh, great chaser. Um, and so while they uh, while they catch up with each other, they're probably talking about the storms. I just want to thank all the new members. And yeah, we really did. That was a great like rally. Thanks a lot, guys. producing up there, Andy. It's definitely going to produce. I'm going to need you to shoot over the back left shoulder eventually, but we got to get it. It's going to produce now. It's happening. Look, northwest. I got you. You can use that if you need to. You can always recapture that. Lots of 
Oops, that back side is trying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right at the top of that next hill. Probably, uh, uh, yeah, Blanchard should get in their safe place ahead of this one, Blanchard. We're gonna get to the top of this next hill, then we'll watch it. So you heard that this thing is definitely trying to produce Reed seeing more and more signs, the smooth backside. Um, and so Blanchard, get in your safe place, pay attention to this. If you know anybody in the area, share the stream with them. The, this is eyes on the sky. This is seeing is believing we're there. Um, and uh, so it looks like the guys are pulling over here to get a better look at it. So we're about to know a little bit more about this supercell. Trying to bring some RFD around. It could tighten even right here. Or right up to there. They really wanted to on that cycle, didn't it? It's recycling now a little. Or probably reconsolidate right here. I think you're gonna get your first tornado today, Andy. So amazing to watch it happen. A hyphen to watch it build. <laughs> I was more of a dot 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 than a hyphen. Still got the tornado warning headed up to Midwest City now. It's trying to produce again here at mid south of Midwest City. Watch out. That's definitely feeling the um, effects of an increasing low level jet. This storm has a donut hole right off to the northeast and this hook coming around the backside too. What do you even target there? So we're gonna continue headed northeast toward Blanchard. Something might be something in that donut hole too. It does try to. Yeah, tell me what. Tell me what you think people are seeing that it's making everybody else pull off right here. Yeah, they're just probably confused. <laughs> That's a. Yeah. Cool. They have gone the wrong way. Maybe just gone south. It might be cycling. I think they wanted that two e stops and maybe not want to. doesn't look as organized and I think the next one might this, you can see this one I'm starting to consolidate a little further off there's another wall cloud off to the northeast
crawling up to the left up there. It's pretty stout, isn't it? Wow, it's almost all, all the way to the ground, isn't it? Look at that thing. It's hard to tell if it's stable or not. Oh, yeah. Very low wall cloud. Approaching the Blanchard storm. Consolidating around this new circulation, doesn't it? Yeah. It's low on that left side. Oh, come on. Windshield, if you want to stop it from ending up in our lap, windshield's gonna end up in our lap, folks. Oh, big hit! Look at the baseballs. Got to get through this hook. So you just heard Reed at the end say, I think there's a tornado behind us. We're, now we're not, we don't know, but you can see here that there are two tornado warning boxes here. And this is a uh, meso detection uh, of low level rotation. Um, so this thing is, is certainly ramping up and trying to set down.
connection will stabilize in a second, but just also trying to look at uh, this back here and see uh, more rotation here. So this is the velocity feed. You can see there's rotation here. You can see there's some rotation back here. That's why there's two boxes. Um, this Uh, zooming out, we're seeing if there's anything else. We have another tornado warning up in Iowa, but we are here with the guys down in Oklahoma City or south of Oklahoma City. We are getting through this uh, this spotty area right here. Sometimes supercells screw with connectivity equipment. We have the best connectivity equipment there is. We have all this box that takes. Here we go. Now we're back. Yeah, so just uh, so this is in Blanchard. Uh, it's going to be in Goldsby uh, in uh, 13 minutes. This will be in Norman at 7:40. Hall Park 7:44. Um, share the stream. I, I did misspeak before. This is this is the old box. There's not two tornadoes. There's one rotation. This is the old warning area. This is the new warning area. This old one has expired, but it hasn't dismissed on this. But anyway, this this looks uh, it's getting serious. Cargoes. Could be just off to the left. Man, come on! So much, so much traffic. See that baseball that almost hit me there? Move off to the right too. Yep. This thing's gonna probably go big. Right, right over town. See it? Right in front of us. Big one's coming down. Maybe left side. Big, big RFD coming. Big RFD. It's happening. This is an intense, extreme situation that we're in right now. Did you hear those softballs coming? Oh, that almost hit me. Jeez. Super. Yes. Look at that, baseballs, here they come, big softballs. Look south, look everywhere. Oh, it's rapidly rising motion up to the left. Big softballs coming, grapefruits. Look at it, Andy. Look at all around us. Baseballs. Down all around us, 
Tap it out the left. Go to the rising motion. Left. Rapid rising. Might be coming behind us even. Oh, rapid formation behind us too. Look at that. Look right back to that. get one of those grapefruits. Go. Oh, it's a baseball. Alright. You scrapping that come right back up. Giant hail. I'm going to hail everybody here in Blanchard. It's trying to produce out northwest of town. We got to get, get focused. Got to stay focused. South side of town is trying to. Look at that motion there, Andy. It's really going. Oh, baseball almost hit me in the leg. Did you see that? Right there. Grapefruits on the ground here. Oh, it's trying to hit it right over our head. Rapid motion. We're gonna have to bust it east here soon. Good escape route. There's a vortex. Trying right over. Trying right there. See that spin? You see that violent spin back behind you? Right up in there? And out to the right? Oh. Guys, Blanchard to Goldsby, get in your safe place. Blanchard, Goldsby, Norman. Just reiterating that, Blanchard, Goldsby, Norming, Hall Park, get in your safe place. This one's trying to go big. Right here, look north. Funnel cloud north, too. It's cold, at least here. It's about 100 yards east. Such a great idea. I don't know how to see if you can see it. I might get the bird up. Just don't get hit in the head. Good plan. Right here. This is it. This is it right here. Siren sounding at Blanchard. It's your zone up here. You want to talk to me? Let's go east. Man, it is trying right here. Look at those birds. It's trying. Hear that? You can hear it. Whoa. Whoa. Glad we didn't take that one out there. There's a rain curtain trapping right here, rapid motion. Here zone. It's really trying to go nuts. And turn right at the same time. It's a coal. Coal is what you're saying next? Yeah, we're going to go to coal. Ready? Yep. Put him back up. Let's get this guy charging again while we drive. It could tornado at any second. I'll unplug it and do it again. <laughs> 
in here, right? Weird rain blob there at the tip of the hook. See over there? Yeah, oh yeah. There it is, looking down toward coal, everybody. Major circulation there. Oh, look at that, that huge, you can see those huge grapefruits coming all the way out of the sky. I haven't seen that in years. <laughs> Big ice bombs are coming down right now. Headed down to coal as it appears this hook, this southern hook echo is starting to dominate. Dodging baseballs. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this look, the riding along with Reed and getting the ground truth out about these storms, please hit that like button. It's silly to say, but it really is important. It really helps us out. Look at those space balls coming. See them? Look at them come. That could be it's trying to produce on the right over there. That hook's going to wrap all the way around that circulation. surging. One mile. We're trying to produce there in town and then the hook has kind of reconsolidated south now, hasn't it? Down here, at the tip of the hook. Right, and so I just want also reiterating here. So now you could, this is a better look at the storm here. And you could see what Reed is saying is that the hook is reconsolidating down here, which is why they are headed towards coal right now. So if you're in coal, Goldsby, Noble, Slaughterville, even pay attention to the storm. Maybe you get ready to get to your safe place. That's the RFT search. a little back toward this southern hook. Eight hundred feet. Oh wow. Is that debris? It is. <laughs> what is that debris? Is that a tornado developing? <laughs> what has happened? There might be a tornado happening right here. Is there a big northerly? Look at this. Wow. Sir. Shit. It's shredding these trees. Look off to your right for a tornado genesis down there. Could happen. Cattle's running. Yeah. Just big inflow into this new wall cloud that's forming. It's trying to produce right there, but it's off to the right. Down there. That's a tornado, isn't it? Look, I'd roll your window down there.
Coming back in a second here, but this is what we're looking at. So this is the, oh, and we're back. This is the hook, but we're just looking at, this, this is the velocity rotation feed. See, it's broad right now, but to the guys. Side, sir. It's a big one. Deploying the subsonic. We're going to deploy here. We'll get the signal back. Um, I think I heard Reed say on the ground. So if you were there, you get in your safe place. Let's go back to him now. There he is. Yes, this, this is a strong tornado. It's Cole, uh, Washington, Goldsby, Noble, Slaughterville, even later Etowa. Get, get ready to get in your get in your safe place. This could be. This looks to be a pretty strong tornado. Back to the guys.
Where should people be? Get Cole, get in your same place, Cole. Cole, get in your same place, Cole, Oklahoma. Big tornado, big easterly. Big time easterly is on it. We just re we deployed the subsonic sensor. Very strong tornado, everybody. See it? Oh, yeah. You see it? You see how you see it? I feel like it's breaking up. Is there five drone around it? As just shown you this, this is uh, what we look at. This is a correlation coefficient. This right here, that's debris. So this thing is, uh, it's already hit something. It's again, oh, back to it. Working through the connection a lot of times around these strong supercells, we do we do get interference. There's there's not much we could do about it, but it, we are wow. This is a real this is a strong tornado. This is a big tornado. Get in your safe place. This is Cole, Slaughterville, uh Noble, Goldsby, Washington. Coming back in a second, there we do get interference. Maybe they hit something, but that you could see clearly there's a strong tornado on the ground there. Um, we're going to try to get a picture back. There it is.
got it. I'm clear. I'm clear. Need me in motion. We got door release. Right in front of us. Need me in motion. We're doing the dance. Get the limit. Got the right in front of us. Watch. Work in the parade. Work the parade. Work the parade here. Right in front of us, guys. Big tornado. Right in front of us. Again, we're coming right back. You're, what the, that noise that you're hearing, that whoosh, that whistling, that's the wind in the power lines. That's the wind really whipping through the power lines. You could see the white uh, the white uh, fingers coming down. Those are multiple vortices on this thing. Again, this is definitely a strong tornado here. I'm, we are going to get the the uh, picture back. There it is. Firemen are behind us. Check this house. Houses are shredded off to the right. We got to stop. Power line is down here. Here, let me get it on this side. Hit it to me. Watch, the streamer's ready. We're coming back, uh, coming back in a second here. You just saw it looks like there there was a, a house that was hit there. Um, so if the if the guys are going to have to jump in, see if uh, folks are okay there, uh, unless they're already seeing it. Uh, hopefully they are. Somebody with lights, I think it's not, I don't think they have a place to do it for. Just to the east. 
Carson is coming to Goldsby. Just past Carson, it's right here. Goldsby, get in your safe place. Goldsby, Washington, Noble, Slaughterville, get in your safe place. Coming back to them in a second, they couldn't get, they couldn't move in earlier because there's all that inflow, all that wind going to the storm. And so it was dangerous to get out with the debris, but they are checking uh, the house right now to make sure that uh, if anybody was in there, that, that they're okay. Um, so this storm is, let me get, so this is, if you could see on the top, right, I'll leave the guys up on this side. So we see them exactly when they come back. This is the rotation here, that velocity thing that we were showing before this is it um and so then let's look at so this is going towards uh this is cole gold goldsby noble slaughterville washington etowa um get in your safe place this is a strong tornado you was you, i did hear and i don't want to say anything big but i did hear reed at one point saying this thing could could go very big um but but because there's you know there's damage right now we, we have to, we just have to investigate that. Um, we're going to try to get the guys back in a second here. Um, we will get them back. Here we go. So while they're, oh, looks like Reed is coming, is maybe back in here, but. Keep going east! Like that. 
Okay, we're going to get that audio back. Um, but this is, uh, you know, there's a tornado on the ground. Don't know if it's still on the ground, uh, but it was strong as it was setting down, as you just saw on the stream here about 10 minutes ago. Uh, so again, this is, uh, it's uh, Goldsby, Noble, Washington, Slaughterville. Definitely Slaughterville. Get in your safe place. Let's see if we have the, uh, the audio back here. Look for homes. Man. Look for homes. So yeah, you could hear Reed. There's nobody in the house that that we just saw there. Thankfully, there they had a storm shelter in the back, so that sounds like that's where that's where he was banging on it, and nobody answered. So it could just be that that nobody was home. Thank goodness. Um, they are coming back here, but you know this is. Uh, let's see if we're zooming out. And there are, there are several tornado warnings in Iowa. We have uh, Nebraska, uh, but this one uh, is certainly uh is certainly a dangerous one let's see yeah you're not sending copy that Got it. Copy that. Okay. All right. Copy that. Possibly off to the right. Okay. All right. So if you missed the conversation that Reed and I just had, he, uh, he said that they, they have to go pick up their, they're doing scientific research uh, as well on this stream. So they have to pick up their subsonic sensor, uh, but they are going to continue to chase this storm. Uh, and as it, uh, I hear him. Watch that. 
Yeah, and it's trying to form down near Washington, folks. That's my breath for a second. That was a lot like a hurricane. Yeah, it's when you're that tight to it, yeah. yeah. Now the inflow jets are causing all those power explosions. I've never seen explosions like that. All right, we got it. We're going to go. There's a new circulation. Be careful there. <coughs> okay. right, acid reflux or something from that. It's a rain curtain, but likely tornado in there somewhere, everybody. That is a big time rain curtain right there. Definitely uh, shrouding the circulation. It's down near Washington. New circulation is coming in here. The Goldsby one is roped out. There's our old circulation. So is debris coming out of the sky. That's the old one, the old occlusion. That's our old tornado right there. That's the news cycle off to the right. There's the occlusion, folks. Look at that. See how it's all separated from the storm? That's the storm mesocyclone. That's the occlusion up there. Separate. It's beautiful. Damn, you had a good view on that on your right side, didn't you? I feel like that's why I'm actually trying to watch it again. Mm -hmm. yeah. See how the door the leaves started ripping those trees apart? That's how we knew it was about to happen. Just see how we used all our senses and felt the whole thing. Yeah, but we listened, we heard, we felt, you know, we maneuvered. We were nimble, we're fast, we dominated that intersect. <coughs> <coughs> That's how you chase up close. We anticipated the left hand turn. reflux whenever I get insane adrenaline rushes like that, you know, it's total, we definitely had to back up there, because we were in front of that house. That was, even though it sounded crazy, you know, we were Definitely something in that rain, everybody, and maybe even on the backside. Dead end now. We gotta go south. We gotta get our probe. We deployed a subsonic just as that tornado was on the ground.
There's the RFD right in front of us. Those rain curtains. Yeah, we got to somehow recover our sensor now. That storm right there. Yeah. That's the circulation. Tighten up right there. That's the rain blob. It could be in there actually. We're gonna have to come around. We're gonna have to back come back door this uh, the probe to get it. And then we're going to need to depend on the green light and uh, metadata too for the phone. Yeah, right. I didn't put a pin down. Look at those whiskers, everybody. It's probably on the ground in there. You can see it kind of at the base. I think there's a wedge out in there on that new one that's on the ground. Right in there, see? Yeah. Oh. No, nope, that's severe. No? Nope. No, that's severe.
strong tornado, wasn't it? That was really. It's, uh, that was a lot. All right, we're coming back in a second here, guys. But yeah, that is, uh, it, don't know if it's still on the ground, but it certainly looked like it was. You could see Reed was saying, look at those whiskers. It's kind of like um, a cloud that, that, it's almost like a collar cloud that hangs around the circulation. Um, <clears throat> and so this is uh, Slaughterville uh, headed towards Etowah, Tribby. Um, let's see if we could get our signal back here. There we go. Almost there. Almost there, but uh, so we are still chasing this. Um, it's moving. Let's see. Get a little bit more information on the storm for you. Yeah, this thing is only moving at 20 miles an hour, so it's it's easy to stay up with. The guys are coming back now. But and and more importantly, it's easier to get away from. So if you're if you're in the path of this, get out of its path. We're gonna fix the audio. Hey, uh, stop and start. All right, so the guys are fixing that, and what they're doing right now is they're going back to get their subsonic sensor. These are these are you know Reed is a a lot of people are surprised. Reed has a PhD. He's actually Doctor Timmer, uh, and he does his own research with Team Dominator and and Mark Simpson, who designs these things. And uh, Reed deployed what's called a subsonic hail sensor, and it basically it listens for hail hitting the ground, and the uh, and the uh, subsonic signature of that. And we're going to put that um, together in a video with the other subsonic data we got on the stream last week. Um, and we'll, you'll be able to hear that yourself. So you'll be able to see the research that's coming out of this. Uh, but let's go uh, back to the guys. Mm -hmm. Coming back in a second with the audio. Uh, but what they are going to do is to go back and get their subsonic sensor uh, that got the hail data. It seems like there was very large hail on that storm, so it's very good data. Um, and that should help. Let's see if we're almost back here, guys. Hey. 
Maybe we should get the sensor first. What do you think? Uh, we lost visual and it kind of wrapped in rain a little there. Didn't we? Yeah, that's good to back it up. Oh, yeah. That's the one I want. We've got to recover the subsonic sensor. We got some pretty incredible data there. So we're going to be heading back west of coal. We're going to recover the subsonic. Then we're going to get back into the chase. So stay with us here, but we've got to get back to coal first. Right, so the guys are... If I could get an exact position on them here. All right, the guys are about right here. Uh, they just got to jump back to coal, and then they're going to go back on the storm again. The storm is moving around 20 miles an hour. So this is a maneuver. They should be able to catch back up to it. Um, and it uh, need to get some updated reports on this, but Slaughterville, still in the path, Etowa, Tribby, later. Be paying attention to this storm because that was a that was a strong tornado. So while we have a second to breathe here, I'm going to zoom out and get you guys caught up on everything here. So there are two areas of interest today. This you could see uh, if I tap this, we could see this is the whole area where the uh, SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, said there was going to be storms today. And as you could see, so it, basically they issued this early in the day and the night before. This is the area that they said was going to be bad. And as you could see, all of these um, these yellow boxes are severe thunderstorms, which is. Uh, what sometimes birth tornadoes. Um, so you can see they nailed it again. And this red box here is a tornado warning. And actually speaking of that, oh no, it's still there. I was gonna say, I thought that we lost a tornado warning down here, but we did not. We still have two tornado warnings down here. Actually, one of them's probably old and expired. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, so if you're uh, just joining the stream, uh, maybe somebody in chat can tell the timestamp. That's one of the reasons that we keep the clock in the bottom left corner. And if you didn't notice, we also have the, um, the current location. 
uh, in the bottom. If you're wondering where they are, um, you can always check down there. Uh, but you could check a timestamp of when the tornado occurred and you could see those power flashes. And that's that was a good example of when you really see those green flashes. Those are transformers exploding. It looks like we got a good signal now. So uh, go back to the guys. See all the sub vortices that would touch down in there? No. I couldn't capture them very good with a camera. Though. They were there. Did you see them? The white ones that would touch down? I believe we're coming up on the damage path here, and you can see all these trees are shredded. Horseshoe vortex. See it? It's really, there's a home on the other side of the hill. That's a huge home. That's a huge home. Hopefully it's like a... I mean, based on those no lights up there, certainly somebody's checked up, you know what I mean? Let me get a little closer over there. Yeah. That's the power pole that's down right in front of us, so. Everybody's in here now. Is it too dark, though? No. Here, here they have no deals with that. That pole's right there, so. Definitely don't want to get in the way of everybody, probably, so I might as well just hang back. People are wondering uh, what we're doing here. We have to go back and pick up our scientific equipment, and it looks like, you know, we're that, that for that we need to go towards the damage path where the earlier intercept was uh, it looks like some <clears throat> some roads are blocked you know either by law enforcement or down power lines uh, but we will be getting back on the storm we just need to pick up this equipment it's it's proprietary it's 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 very valuable um as is the data that it that it has so we, we have to get that because we do we do more than just chasing on this we do our research as well as trying to get the word out. Uh, <laughs> all my knobs broke off, but I can still work it. Are you serious? Yeah, but I can work it. Oh. Did I do that? That no, wasn't from you, though. Oh, okay. That's why I was worried.
Guys, so I just I have a call here from our friend Storm Chaser Chad. This is the guy that chased with Reed on um, on the Rolling Fork day. Um, and so Chad was just telling me, Chad is in coal where this tornado was. Chad, can you share with us uh, what are you saying? Uh, search, and progress, uh, search and rescue is in progress. There is uh, a lot of damage here in uh, coal, Oklahoma. Um, several buildings completely destroyed. Uh, there was a well-built uh, two-story frame house that the entire second floor is completely gone. Um, I'm trying to get back to the main highway that went through coal in order to uh, get back to search and rescue. But um, a lot of extensive damage here. Okay, so this is, a, well, I mean, it was a strong storm. Did you see it yourself? Uh, I was I got stuck in the hell core, but as soon as it passed, I mean, the inflow to this thing was just enormous. Um, I didn't physically get a sight on the tornado because I'm almost positive the entire thing was entirely rain wrapped. You, nobody would have been able to see that. Um, but I was just on the back end of it, and as soon as it passed, I followed it all the way through coal and uh, started search and rescue as soon as I came across my first building. Gosh. Okay, so you're you're launching into search and rescue mode yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, man. Well, uh best of luck and hope everything turns out all well. Uh thanks for uh thanks for giving us a call. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let, take it easy. As that was uh Storm Chaser Chad. He was um he was with Reed on that rolling fork stream that we did. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible Terrible tornado that started off this season. Um, and Chad's a, he's a great guy. And, um, sounds like he's on this storm too. Let me see if we could hear, uh, anything from what Reed is up to now. Doesn't. It doesn't sound like it. You could see suddenly all these uh, severe storms are starting to die down. Not this one. This this one is not dying down, but the amount of warnings has gone down drastically. One, two, three, four, six. So only only a few left, but uh, everybody in those warning areas definitely should be paying attention and heeding the warnings because as we just saw you know, on this stream before, these strong tornadoes can happen and they can happen quickly. And that was, that, that was one of the scarier tornadoes that I've seen with all the, 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 the wind whipping through the, the, uh, the power lines and obviously with the, the damage to that house, hopefully, you know, it was re checked out the house. Uh, he checked out the storm shelter behind it. Thankfully there was nobody there. Uh, and it sounds like storm chaser Chad is, uh, also launching into search and rescue now too. So there are definitely some, yeah, we don't really have it quite worked out here. Now you can't see that. We'll, we'll get the images up uh, when we can. Um, but if you know anybody in the area, if you're in the area, um, at this point, it's probably best to just let the authorities handle things. Um, Unfortunately, tornadoes aren't nothing really new to Oklahoma, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's see what we could tell on this storm here, uh, investigating it. We look at the velocity here. We could see it's a bit broader when you saw it before. When it was, uh, when we, you could see it with your eyes, it was extremely tight. It looks a bit broader here. See, gonna go to iPad. Just checking out a couple different feeds to see what we could tell here. You know, that still has this little scorpion tail hook to it here. Stand by one moment. Looks like this warning is. Okay, this is a new warning. 
Okay, we just had this new warning pop up. This is the new warning box right here. So I'll just share. Sorry, it's slightly off screen for you guys. It says the tornado warning for central McLean County is canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. Stand by one sec, guys. Okay, so it just it sounds like Reed is doing his uh, his reports for AccuWeather, which he which uh, he does uh, a lot of times. He he works with them, and, and Andy in the car works with AccuWeather too. I just wanted to uh, take the uh, opportunity while we have a downbeat. You know, the day is the day and night, unfortunately, is not over. Um, I wanted to thank all our new members and definitely thank Stealthy PS. Um, for always being very generous and, and welcome to the, uh, we have a ton of new members today. Uh, thank you guys. With a membership, you get to do um, silly things like use more emojis like the Dominator and rockets and hail and all that. Then you also, uh, in certain levels, you get access to Reed's forecasts, so it's sort of how he's able to pinpoint exactly where the tornado is going to be. And he shares that. Oh, there he is to recover the sensor. We're with uh, Channel 4, AccuWeather. Really? Yeah, we were on top of that hill back there. It was intense. Yeah, wow. I'm glad you're OK, man. Yeah, it's a good thing you got that extra weight in the back. Is he storm chasing or does he live here? Yeah. It was intense. Was he chasing he lives here. or does he live here? He lives here. Uh, just happened? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. He's okay. Still recover the subsonic sensor. <laughs> Got to get the infrasound.
else on the radar? No, no, I think they're east, uh, that's a, uh, east of I-35 is trying to produce. But we gotta get that sensor now. We're gonna have to get it in the dark now. We'll just have to look for the blanking green. It's okay. We can just let that one ro roll. Where's the SD card in this? Let's, uh... Is that good? Didn't we come down this road? Yeah. Just jumping in here. This is still, I mean, look at this thing. This thing is a monster hook. Um, and this uh, warning has been updated at 8 37 p.m. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located four miles west of Etowah, moving east at 20 miles an hour. The hazardous tornado and golf ball size hail. This is a radar indicated rotation. Impact is flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Take cover now. So you could see the storm track on this, what we're looking at, is showing it going like this. But this thing was moving right, right. Let's animate it, see what it's doing here. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't. Now the guys aren't completely back. I wouldn't trust this, but I would, I would, if you're in pink, I would pay attention to it for sure. Um, but it looks like this is headed basically due east. Alright, so yeah, this is it. It looks like it's just headed pretty much due east. It might be bending a bit to the north here. This Etowa Brooksville pink. This one is not updating. That's the problem. So 
still going. Okay, so yes, the software is now updating now. So yes, it's 852 uh, Etowah, 916 Tribby, and 924 Macomb. Uh, that's the storm track on this. Uh, I would say Brooksville, also pay attention, Tecumseh, Earlsboro, uh, because if we do animate it, It looks like it was headed due east and then maybe bending north a little bit. Um, so I would say Seminole, even Shawnee, pay attention to this for sure. Let's see what this looks like on rotation. A bit hard to tell. Uh, but there is rotation in there. And let's go back to this one. Yeah, okay. This is a better look at it. There it is. That's the rotation right there. Let's see what this has looked like. There it is. Right there, you just see a couple handoffs. You see that? Look, there's the tornado, gone, handoff, new tornado, handoff, new circulation. There's the tornado, handoff, new circulation, new circulation. And if you're saying, what, what am I looking at? I'm looking at when the red part gets, uh, the really bright red gets right next to the really bright green. So watch it. You're going to see what's, what's called a, a cycling or a handoff where... Um, here, we'll just put it in motion here for you. So, cycling, new, cycle, new. There it is. Cycling, new, cycling, new. Um, so what can we, what can we say about this here? What can we learn? Let's see, we can look at this feed which is correlation coefficient it's a bit hard to let's see it's a bit hard to say if there's something on this still here correlation coefficient is what you look at uh when you want to see if there's debris in the air so it's debris that's being uh thrown aloft it looks like this hook just kind of broke off at the end of this thing uh, but this is definitely a tornado warrant storm. Looks like the guys are back. Let's see uh, if they're discussing their next move here. So I'm going to need you to cover that, Brian. That's a one. Get in your safe place. Tribbery, Macomb. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, so here we are. So this is the Etowa Storm, Tribby, Macomb. These are the ones we were just talking about. And uh, so now we're looking at, uh, when we go out, 
basically anybody in Ottawa and Macomb, get your safe place. It's it's on the ground there, apparently. Um, anytime you're dealing with radar, you're only looking at one radar location. So right now, you can see this little dot right here. This is the radar. This is the radar, and this is what it can see. So we were just at, we were just on Oklahoma's before, and there's the radar. And because this was so close to the radar, it's hard to get clues on what's going on. So we changed the radar site. And now we're looking at the correlation coefficient of this storm. And you could see this differential here. There is some, there's, there's, there's some debris on the storm. There is a tornado there. Here's the velocity on that one. Let's try to get this from another angle too here. All right, still looking at this, this handoff here. Yeah, man, this thing. Stand by one moment, guys. Let me guess, signal bad? I should be uh, coming through again. Yeah, I'm trying. I, I'm always trying to get it to go. Never goes out to zero. I'm trying to get back. breaking it down i'm just going back to recover the subsonic sensor so i i, I gotta i gotta navigate uh, right now because I'm, I'm coming up to i gotta turn right here so all right i'll put you on speaker all right what you're doing great
Okay. Okay, sorry, I just spoke to Reed. They are grabbing the sensor here, but yes, you could see on this. Wow. Reed is uh, going to break this down himself. He is the real, real expert here. But he had a, he had a few things he wanted to say about this storm, so I'm going to let him say it as soon as he comes back. But still, if you are in the path of this thing, and yeah, now it's headed towards Brooksville at 924. Um, Tecumseh after that, and this thing has been on the ground before, and it has cycled and cycled, um, as you could see. So, as we were showing this before, if you're, we were showing this before, there it appears, there it is again. Um, and so this is headed towards Brooksville, Tecumseh, uh, Macomb, I would even be paying attention to this Macomb. Uh... And there's this uh, super exaggerated hook with the nub at the end here. Yeah, this has got to be on the ground. Yeah, this is not a radar signature that you see very often. You usually see kind of a hook and appendage, but this is, you have this. Here's the, here. Take a look at radar quick. Oh yeah, that's on the ground every right there. Southwest of Pink, everybody. There it is. I'm hearing reports that it's up to a mile wide right now. But there it is. There's the circulation. There's Pink. It's just south southwest of Pink. And it's a very dangerous storm right there, everybody. Headed toward Brooksville. TDS, tornado debris signature. That's a very, very large. Tip of the hook. It's pink. It's tornado right there. There's damage. Lots of damage out here. So we're breaking up a little bit, but you heard you heard Reed. He said there's reports that it's a mile wide, uh, which is terrifying, especially at night. Uh, you, you need to get out now. Pink is in the warning box, so maybe it is turning much more north than we than we thought. Um, so you could see now. Pink is in this warning box. Bethel Acres, Shawnee, Tecumseh. Pay attention to this. This if this thing is indeed a mile wide, which it. it it looks like it, it very well could be. Um, it, you want to be in the safe place. You want to, if you have time, get out of the, of its way completely. And this is moving at 20 miles an hour. Um, so you, you can.
make sure that one right after we get the sensor. So, the Blanchard's got power? Yeah. I mean, I think so. That was where we saw all the softballs and stuff, remember? Wasn't that crazy, oh, yeah. too? That was. Jeez. But yeah, everybody, south of pink. Dangerous tornado. Oh, yeah, there it is. Near pink. Look at that new tornado warning. That includes pink. Pink, you're included in that tornado warning in case this thing shows deviant motion. Watch out in pink. Get in your safe place pink because that is a dangerous tornado that's wrapping back in on itself. Everybody, we are on our way coming to the west side of coal. Hopefully, that tornado is starting to weaken, but it is looks like it is still stout to the south of Pink. I'm not seeing as much of a debris signature, but it is still there. Yeah, just southwest of Pink is where it's located. There's the debris signature southwest of Pink. It's kind of in blue, right down there, just to the southwest. Nice work, Andy. That was for the fun. That was for the cause of tax. So hopefully everybody's okay. <coughs> We're starting to see. Yeah. Could, yeah, not for sure, but likely.
for me. there now. So hungry. Have some uh So looking at this, we're looking at the velocity here. You could see it's it's not as organized, uh, but there is a you could see all this is a ton of lightning on this storm still. Uh, it's all over. Um, and let's see what the latest information is on this. Excuse me. Oh, Reed is back. All right, so just reading the latest at 8.52 p.m., um, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado is located near Etowah, moving east at 20 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Radar in confirmed tornado impact. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Um, so yes, and this thing really did take a hard turn to the north here, and that's why Reed was saying anybody in pink, et cetera, should be um, paying attention to this in, in case it shows deviant motion, and it, it looks like it might be tightening up again right there. We'll see. Let's animate this and see. So in pink, get in your safe place or get out of the way. Bethel Acres, Shawnee. It is still down. It is reformed. There it is. Thank you, Chris. Chris Hall is all over it now, but there it is. Look at that pink. Just south of pink. It's trying to move north. Especially worried about the east side of pink now, yeah? Oh, it just reformed. Look at that. Disappeared and came right back. Boom. It's possibly trying to wrap back into pink. And it's back on the ground, everybody. See a reform, Brian? Oh yeah, big debris ball on it now. If you go to the correlation coefficient, you can also see the debris. You're getting good. You are, you're learning to fly. So yeah, you just heard Reed confirm what, what we were thinking was that it, it wrapped back up. Um, and then he's looking at this, which is the, it's 
one of the harder ones to look at, right? Uh, but this is the correlation coefficient. And <clears throat> what it does is it identifies, uh, it'll show like an even color if all the raindrops are the same size. But it'll show different colors if there's a small raindrop next to a big hail stone or a big stick in the air that or a big aluminum siding. So that's that's what it is. It's a correlation coefficient. So you could see like this whole area, it's probably rain that's about the same size. But if we look down here and closer on where the rotation is, you could see this here. It is hard to kind of see this stuff, but it, it does get a bit easier with time. Well, oh, reads. Uh, here we are. So people are wondering, uh, some people are wondering what they're, what's going on. They're recovering, um, scientific equipment, but while, you know, we were the first on the store, one of the first on the storm as it formed the tornado, uh, you know, we feel a certain responsibility to keep with it, uh, and keep informed as it, as it goes. So it looks like, um, it is, uh, uh right to the east of pink or in pink. Um, it isn't, White is tight, but that's a strong couplet right there in any in any case for sure. Um, that's what we call that that bright red next to the bright green. We call that a couplet. And you, you may say, like, what about this over there? It it's not that it's not that really not that bright area and that gradient to the bright area. Um so that's what we see, and we just see another tornado warning box just went up there. Let's see what this one has. And it looks like we were right. There is an insane amount of lightning on this storm here. Let's just leave you with it.
And as we're trying to get a good look at that insane lightning show, here is the latest uh, on that tornado. You can see that uh, it it's not as organized and looks like it just might be petering out a bit, but it might be cycling too. You could just saw, you just saw that it just went from one frame to another. If you were just paying attention down here, let me swap. Let's animate this again. Yeah, it took a hard turn, huh? Wow. That's amazing. Okay, so uh, this is uh, Bethel Acres, uh, getting your safe place. Uh, hopefully everybody knows that software is not working. Um, okay, Bethel Acres, uh, Johnson, Meeker, Shawnee, Tecumseh. Uh, Tecumseh, it's, you're, you're okay. Shawnee, pay attention. Bethel Acres for sure. power flashes Scientists, and we I know who you are. We just deployed a sensor a couple miles east of here, uh, coming into coal. So, is there a chance to go walk down there and grab it? There's power lines down there now. It was west of where that happened. Huh? And I deployed it before the power lines went down. I can show you. What's your name? Nate. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, some people are wondering, does this, does the, uh, do we record other than the stream? Yes, we do. Um, and we try to edit those uh, and get those out to you pretty quickly. Um, so it might be a bit of a rough edit because tomorrow uh, is another day of severe weather, but we will get the, um, you know, the full 4K edit out to you guys uh, of what happened today. And actually maybe a little recap of what happened last week with the hail sensor deployment. Um, so you could look forward to that tomorrow in addition to another live stream. Excuse me.
should see some lights coming off. It should be a green light, but it's faint. So it's not like incredible. All right, we're very close to the, the hail sensor, the subsonic sensor. This is what we're trying to recover. Keep your eyes peeled for a green light. It's got the good data. Or is it this one up here, you think? up the hill here. I feel like we would have gone up the hill, right? Yeah, we would have gone up the hill. You think you know, can you uh, can see uh, see this? There's that square, that square. If you go back to this, this phone see it. That's the second square. And there's a stop up there too, but it's right here. It must be right here. And it probably is probably this time. Now we went through this river. Uh, just seeing the poll that actually almost a third of you did not see the uh, tornado on the stream. Um, so you can uh, you can go back and check uh, the timestamp that people are sharing um, in the chat, or you can wait for the edit um, and we'll do a full you know eight minute video explaining exactly what happened with the uh, 4K footage uh, tomorrow. Um, It'll be a rough edit, but um, you'll be able to see it. Looks like they might see the sensor. Can you check um, 15 times of degrees? Yeah, I'm sorry, let's just keep going. That's how we can get it. Yes, okay, some people are just just apparently sharing their thoughts, they're watching it. Um, yes, it is, it is amazing. It's definitely dangerous, and we got some pretty incredible data on it. So that's, that's what we're trying to get right now. We're we got data on the hail. Um, the subsonic frequencies of the hail. Um, and so if you, uh, you know, we're long for the stream and uh, we're liking what Reed does and what we're, what we're trying to do here, we're trying to bring you uh, into the chase with us, trying to bring you into the, into the passenger seat 
also keep you informed, teach you a little bit of science and show you the science that we're doing. So if you're into that, please, if you're not, hit the subscribe button, you know, hit the notification bells. We're trying to uh, kind of only put out things uh, when, when we really have something these days. Um, so that's, we're, we live stream all the time and we put out um, some well-edited videos, we think, lately. So please, if you're not, subscribe um, and uh, think about a membership, too. With memberships, you get um, emojis, which are actually pretty cool. Um, and uh, you also can see Reed's process of uh, forecasting. Um, and we also have some more more things we're working on for some of the other uh, levels of membership, and we'll have announcements about that soon. Um, let me check in with Reed and see if uh, they've found this thing yet. Okay, so uh, Reed just uh, hit me up through somebody else's phone that their signal is uh, their signal is cached. Every all the batteries on everything is pretty much drained. Um, so we're gonna be wrapping up. I just wanted to say thank you to to uh, Dutch Synths. Uh, thank you very very much for the uh, as always, and thanks to all the new members. Um, Debbie Palms again, Jeffrey Lember again. Sorry if uh, I missed calling anybody out, but, uh, we appreciate all the, uh, all the help we get. And we hope that you're seeing the return on, uh, your belief in us because we're, we're just going to keep investing things into, into this. Um, so, uh, for those of you still in the path of these storms and the warnings, please, you know, uh, you know, uh, follow the news, follow uh, a reputable weather site. Um, members, let's, uh, Uh, members, let's get, uh, those, uh, NSCs. Let's get some never stop chasing in a chat. It's going to be our tradition as we sign off. Everybody say never stop chasing. Um, and, uh, so thank you everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, look for an edited video tomorrow and another stream tomorrow and a stream probably the day after that. So it's a, a good three days of, uh, kind of crazy weather. Um, best to everybody. And uh, never stop chasing.